Okay, so this is your level one of Prince DJ, aka possibly the next president of the United States in 2024. But we'll see. But anyhow, anyway, so as you may or may not heard that I'm in a pass split, which is my interim second palace, uh, temporary, and now I'm going to be exiled to an island. Uh, as you know or may not know, I have been dealing with a Karen. Yeah. Now, there are, there, well, they are, eight, uh, uh, I would say, eight or seven um, roommates at a house at a time. And there's no overnight guests. I mean, the, people could come in during the daytime, but people can't stay overnight, unfortunately. If, uh, you know, because there are other ladies over here. Well, there's two ladies over here, and there's uh, most of the other guys. And if they have dates, vice versa, they wouldn't be able to stay overnight. They could be having like a weird day, uh, day date, but if they were, the other party would have to go to them and stay overnight. So, okay, so now there was this one person that helped me when I got in here. There was a lady that helped me when I first moved in here. I didn't, you know, I didn't know anything or all that stuff. I, I wasn't around with the, the have the lock system and all like that. So she really helped me out. I'm not talking about her. I'm not talking about her. She's really good. She's she would consider she would be considered the princess of Big D Country. Actually, matter of fact, I'll tell you this. She actually helped me with some chips. So that was good. Okay. And also of course you know the other roommate that's the knight of Big D Country has been the hero of the whole entire place. Uh, meaning that uh he helped me out with food and he actually helped me out before we both had this Admiral 12 flight Terra at the, the two stores before we had to go all the way to a supermarket uh, at near closer to another side of uh, the uh, avenue. And and here's the thing. Here's the thing. Before I had that first incident with the Dollar Tree and before I had the, uh, you know, the unfortunate incident of not being able to uh, go to the uh, to use the food store earlier. I had an unbelievable Karen who did not understand, and I told her that I could hear. Uh, no, I told her that I can't hear very well, and which I told her that I had to struggle trying to hear to the store. And then even my uh, the other roommate, you know, tonight w w was hardly hear me because he was at the store. He was literally at the store when, when you know, when the cashier was asking me a question, and I and I was like asking my roommate to help me. And then, well, I'll get the part that that she that she thought and claimed that I could hear well. If I could hear well, then I'm Superman, okay? <laughs> or I might be Superman cousin, or I'm from the planet Krypton or something like that. Okay, now this whole thing started before the first store incident, so. I was even playing games. This is the first time that got me. I was playing games on GSP. You know, I think it was one of the games were playing Crash Your Luck. And then she had the nerve to knock on my door and talk about when she was in the middle of some damn meeting at night. Now, now first of all, unless you're doing a Zoom call with a, with a company or something like, who the hell would have a meeting at a workplace at, at eight something, eight or nine something at night? Who the hell does that? Okay, unless you are in these multi-level marketing companies that does have uh, Zoom company meetings and stuff like that, that I understand. But who, if you're having something at work at eight o'clock at night, ah, uh, no way. That was that was another red flag. I mean, now then she's gonna tell me that I can't play games and I have to keep it down. It's it's impossible. I'm a loud damn talker. I am a loud talker. And I'll say it again. Like I told Chief Justice, I have, I have went to different churches that think I should be preaching because I talk so loud. Okay? Okay? I have a loud voice. I got into a UK station earlier in my podcasting career. I got into a UK station because the person loved my rants. I still remember that to this day. Love my man. I am loud. 
I'm loud. Okay? I can't help it. I can, Number one, I can't hear, even on the phone, I had to uh, put my phone up to in order to hear everything. Even though I had the volume full blast, but I still can't hear. And then, she, and then the, the second time we had this, she had to not only insult my intelligence, but she told me, she had to nerve to tell me, oh, my hearing is good. Yeah, right. If my hearing is good, like I said, I'm Superman. Or if my hearing is good, I can sell Texas to you. I mean, this is ridiculous. That was absolutely insane. Okay. So, but the first incident, that was uh, when I was at the game show uh, one. Okay. And then the second incident, I don't, didn't even go start a game show yet or something like that. Or something happened where I uh, guess she was knocking my door and my roommate was, uh, you know, this was right before he brought me dinner and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, she wasn't talking to him. She was uh, trying to mess with me. And then she said, oh, if you're going to stay up to 2 o'clock in the morning, I'll need you to keep it down. And I was like, I can't, I can't even talk really low. I mean, if I try to do it, it'd be gibberish. I mean, I mean, this is, this is a thing. This is absolutely, totally a thing. And then she had the nerve to insult my intelligence and then to tell me when I explicitly said on this damn program, I explicitly said, and, and even before I moved here, I said the people, the other roommate that were different time, different schedule. I understand it. She wanted to go in and talk my damn intelligence and make me not, uh, make me think that I'm not almost close to 50. That I'm not nearly almost close to a senior citizen, which probably basically is 55 or 60 anyway, but but still. But still. Had to go and insult my intelligence, make me look like a damn fool, and make me even sorry that I came here in the first place. How the hell are you going to do that? When I already have a panic attack and it's getting close to my late life anniversary on August 28th? I mean... I've already started the day. To, now, I did start the process of probably moving out on the 31st because I wanted to start in, or moving in October to Galveston because I got a, a, a investment that I want to do because, mind you, next year, you know, they have to recertify Medicaid. And if I don't do that in, in uh, uh, Missouri next year, I'm going to lose that along with the blind pension. So that's why I wanted to invest my money early and then do and then plus I gotta I gotta get of course I gotta get the podcast movement ten uh podcast movement and then I gotta get the podcast uh podcast ten year anniversary. I gotta do that. I gotta be in the anniversary. Got to got to gotta be there. But nonetheless, I mean it's like you just can't you just can't win. I mean it's almost like it's fifty fifty. One female that I can get uh, that I can get along. The other one had to be a Karen. Okay. Which I don't know why they're giving Karens a bad rap. I mean, the, the, a mother had to name a person Karen, but I don't know why they're giving a bad rap. I mean, but regardless, uh, I mean, it just drives me nuts. It just drives me to the point that you know I want to get out here earlier than I wanted to. When I originally wanted to get out of October, just like in St. Louis, I wanted to originally leave for, well, eventually I thought it was Houston, but now I thought I kind of wish I left the Galveston on, in August. I mean, in October, I should say. But I, my hands were tied. I mean, I was getting thrown out by a mean, un, 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 unhelpful landlord unhelpful landlord that went on the side of the lazy mended person who called me out. Who called me an asshole. Literally. All because he didn't want to come to work in the middle of an emergency. Which is, hello, it's a damn emergency. And now, I'm being treated like I'm a still like a college student or better words, a teenager who probably ran away from home and stuff like that and somehow winded up with the money to just afford a pass split. Come up some. Oh, I don't understand. People work at different times. When I clearly stated on the podcast for weeks, 
Or every time when I come on a podcast and I say people come up or work at a different time. I just say it again. So it's no one's on this podcast. And I'm on the record saying that. I am on the goddamn record. Really is really insulting my intelligence. I hate when people do that. I really hate I don't like when people do that. And I'm already having anxiety already, especially after what happened at the the, the nightmare at the second store. When the freezer was literally bare, and I still kicking my ass for not uh, not taking a picture, I'm still kicking my ass for that. How the hell I was supposed to know that was gonna happen? My roommate was the one the first to know, but I was looking around where the hell the food uh, food department is, and then when I saw when I saw gave me gave me nightmares like it was World War Three. It gave me nightmares in the middle of the day, in the middle of the goddamn day, in the middle of the day. I am still fuming over that. I'm still fuming over that. So, after consideration, and then, you know, I did see a flashback, and I thought I heard, okay, okay. When she did that the second time, I, I literally thought about staying over an extra week, uh, and, you know, right after the 26th, which I originally spoke to leave, and then either, okay, so since I probably have a return flight, I could either pay the difference for a um, earlier flight, like after twelve or or eleven or something like that, but I don't want a godly hour. I could take like nine or ten, and maybe I have to get there. Uh, well, I still would have to go there at an ungodly hour if I do, because I want to get to Galveston and settle in, or I could go to stay overnight at the hotel and then go to uh, the rooming house. So I mean, there's other avenues I could do. I mean, I got I got plenty of avenues, but problem is I still had to. I still wanted to deposit. Yeah, I still wanted to deposit on the first week. Of, now this is August. I this is the first week of August I had to do that, and I'm not even leaving for uh, podcast movement yet. So. Uh, I mean, I just put the reservation in for the Motel 6 in Denver Airport just to, just in case. Just in case. So, yeah. So, I have a plan B, and the good thing about the uh, the way back, I could easily extend it, or I could uh, keep it as it is and go to a hotel in Gaveston. Because I don't have to take that. I re- I really don't, I really don't, I mean, that really burns me up, especially on a day when I don't have food. I mean, that really burns me up, really. Unbelievable. Uneffing believable. I can't believe she keep doing that. This is the second time, this is the second instance that, that, that she's doing that. Okay, now the first one, the good lady is like not even near my room. But the second one, not only close by my room, but then she's also close to, uh, the Good Samaritan from the uh, the Night of Big T Country from. So the Night of the Prin- the Night of the Princess, they're both the good ro- roommates, but the Karen, no, she'll never be a citizen of Big T Country, never, never. And then if it happened again before, I mean, I'm up my last few days before August, and then I will pay for when I still be here because I still need couple weeks before I go to on the 20th. I would to do that. But then I just might just go ahead uh, take... Only thing I have to take is my blanket and my cover and then my uh, one of my one of my the big bags and the, and the carry-on bag. The only thing is my other carry-on bag broke. Okay, besides the important papers and clothes, but the clothes that I am able to have, but my other bag, the one that I got either, I think it was either from one of the conference, it finally broke one day. So I'll have to leave that, you know. Well, at least all I had to do is uh, carry one bag and stuff like that. But, you know, trying to figure out how I'm going to put my cover and my blanket and my pillow and then the important papers. But anyway, nonetheless... I mean, don't have that much. To, it really, in essence, I really don't have that much to uh, to move when I do go, and I will be taking a podcast moment just in case I decide that you know what, throwing the towel and 
you know. But I did tell the uh, the night to let's still keep in touch when I moved to Galveston. So, yeah. So I do have options. I do have options. Then that camera really messed it up for me because I wanted to see if I could stay until October. I did not want to uh, go in August, but well, technically, the end of the end of August is when I do get my money. But you know, and uh, the, after the thirty first of uh, August, it will be September. So technically, I will be leaving uh, August into September. Just a month earlier than I wanted to leave, but that camera really messed me up. Really, really, really messed me up. I mean, messing with my mind. I already had panic attacks. I've already had a bad case of exponent head syndrome for three days. And of course, when I was doing the research again about it, they said usually it's supposed to happen once, but no, this is happening three straight days in the same week. Okay. So, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it just really bugged me. It really bothered me. After I've been traumatized by seeing an empty sh- uh, by seeing an empty freezer at a store, no doubt. After being traumatized, had to get had to get uh had to get wowed up by by Karen. I mean, this is this is ridiculous. I had it. I just literally had it. And on the same day that I thought that. The, yesterday morning, I had a heart attack. And now, I thought I heard somebody knocking on the door and saying, hello? Like, they was checking on me or something like that. But, I don't know. Still, I don't know. I don't know. So, I, I am able to get a plan B, but I have to wait until I get the 20th. So, what I will do is I will pay up until, you know... The 20th, I'll pay for, okay, so I'll pay for up until the 20th, which is, which is going to be good. And then all bets are off because I could either come back. No, I could either stay in Denver up until the 31st, which is what I was going to move anyway. I was either going to come back here and then try to do a bit because knowing that I'm already going to move out anyway because the night of Big D Country knows that uh, that I'm going to uh, go to podcast movement and then come back. So, I have my options. I definitely, I definitely have my options. I am, I am smarter than what people think I am. Okay, I didn't deserve to have my intelligence, uh, my intelligence assaulted. I was, I was definitely insulted. Okay, so, and if I can't hear, I would be saying, what, what, huh, what, huh, what? I would be struggling. So, mm. 